do not attempt to adjust your monitors. I don't know if by chance or providence you have chosen to watch our very special clear show. I am Tiger, Senior Tiger at ClearML, and Ariel should be around here as well. So this video celebrates the release of V1.0. What you are all asking is, why now? Did you get some awesome feature that seals the deal for the MLOps solution? Well, not exactly. ClearML is just as cool today as it was yesterday. We did have a recent release that took care of stability, but in this release we really feel like we have something that is 1.0 material. If you want to know where we're going, there is finally a community roadmap and I will make sure Ariel puts that in the links below. Okay, this video is not about sending you to check the release notes, which you should. Ariel will link to that below as well. This video is to celebrate stuff that changed in the user interface. Here is how it's going to be. I will explain what's changed, so you can log in to ClearML free right now and check it out. But then, I will also record some of the changes, in case you don't want to be bothered with logging in right now. Now, one important thing to note, all these changes are responses to feature requests that were made in the GitHub repo and our Slack. So what I'm trying to say is a big, big thank you to our users. Without you, we could not have got there. Let's begin. Project overview. As people were working with ClearML, they found they wanted to have some sort of scratch pad to write stuff related to the project, convey decisions made, and even link to the project management tickets from external services. So we said, good idea, but let's not reinvent the wheel. So starting from today, each project has an editable markdown file that features as the project overview. Check later in the video for a demo, or log in and check the NVIDIA Clara example project. All your existing projects have files generated from your project description strings already existing in the system. Please, by all means, use this and suggest enhancements. Next, one of my personal favorites, nested projects. I will have a separate video on how awesome they are. What it means is that you can create projects inside your projects, like you would naturally create subdirectories on your computer if you're iterating on some of your project components. It works very well, and I think the UI team did a great job on the graphical language. So try it out and let us know. Check the NVIDIA TLT example project to see some nesting action. Finally, batch operations. This is something we got several times actually. Now you can select a few experiments in the UI and do operations on them. Like, for example, enqueuing all of them at the same time. Saves a lot of clicks, right? If you have more ideas on batch operations, you know where we are. And of course, there are even more UI improvements, but we can't have this video much longer, can we? Thanks for listening. You're welcome to stay and see the examples. And now we will see all the things at once. Here is a folder, ClearML NVIDIA Framework Examples. You can see now we have sub-project. These are the nested experiments and project inside. We can either click one of those to go directly or just click as usual here. If we check one experiment, we are encountered with the overview, which is, as we said, a markdown file which you can edit. This is as example, so I cannot save, but you probably understand how useful it is right now. Lastly, we said we have batch operations. Again, this is an example, so I cannot really do the operations. But if I select multiple experiments, we now are able to archive, enqueue, reset, abort, publish, and add a tag, or even move those to a different place. Now, hit us up on the Slack or GitHub if you think of more batch operations that are needed here. Thank you very much for watching. And let's meet up in the next clear show.